May the good Lord bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long awaiting golden day today. May your troubles all be small ones and your fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Via Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. It is with the deepest of regrets that I have to announce the passing of my friend and former Clarendonians, Peter Astin. Peter Astin is dead. The opening clip that you saw, ladies and gentlemen, that really brought me to tears was about almost two years ago when I went to Arborview at his house to interview Peter Austin. And I looked at him and I asked him the question, would you like to perform again with Ernest Wilson? And he looked into the camera and made a plea. And that was the plea that you saw, ladies and gentlemen. It brought both of us to tears. Peter Austin, who recorded a number of hit songs as a member of the Clarendonians, died at his St. Andrew home on July 21st. He was 78 years old. His daughter Georgia confirmed his passing. Aston formed the Clarendonians in the early 1960s with Ernest Wilson, who was six years younger. Although they initially recorded for producer Leslie Kang and Duke Reed, the duo's most fruitful period came with Clement Dark. Their scat hits included a cover of the Beatles, You Won't See Me, Should It'll Be, and You Can't Be Happy. The Clarendonians were from Ace Clarendon, which was also the hometown of reggae superstar Freddie McGregor, who at one stage was a member of the group. Wilson went solo in the late 1960s and enjoyed a successful career with its songs like Undying Love and Money Worries. He died in 2021 at age 69. Austin worked for many years as an aviation supervisor with Shell at the Norman Mandel International Airport. He recorded solo songs intermittently such as Night Hold and reunited with Wilson during the 1990s when there was a Skyrock Steady revival in Jamaica. Georgia Austin said her father had recently performed shows in California and Mexico. Peter Austin is survived by six children and several grandchildren. I just want to reach out to the family at this time and offer my sincerest of condolences to you all. I understand your pain. I know how you feel at this particular time in losing a loved one who is so dear and close to you. But I just want you to know that no one wants their loved one to go. But then when the Almighty stretch forth his hands and says it's time for you to come on home, he has to accept. Peter Aston was a great individual, a wonderful human being. He had such a heart and love for Ernest Wilson. I spoke to him for a little over an hour. You can go back to my channel and listen to the compassion in his voice. The love, 
the honor and the respect that he had for his partner Ernest was. So I know he was a great, great human being. He was at the funeral of Ernest Wilson and he couldn't even sing. He cried like a baby. So this morning when I got up and I got a text message from DJ Waldene who told me that Peter Austin has passed. I had to double check, I had to make sure because I know how fake news gets spread around real quick. He said he saw it on Dennis Al Capone's page. And I know Al Capone is a reputable man. So when I went over to Al Capone and I saw it on Dennis Al Capone's, I knew then and there that this was true. Thank you so much, DJ Walden. On behalf of Powerhouse Records, George Palmer, because I know George loved the Clarendonians very closely. On behalf of Michael Wilson, one of the sons of Ernest Wilson. On behalf of John Thompson from Forever Young Sports Bar in West Toronto. I want to say, we miss you, Peter Austin. We miss you, sir. You were such a great, great human being. And you certainly, sir. A little bit miss. Farewell. 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 May the good Lord bless and keep you. Until we meet again. Thank you, sir, for all the great hits that you've given us. Thank you, sir, for the time that we spent together. Thank you, sir, for taking Jamaica along with Ernest Wilson and Freda McGregor to the four corners of the earth with your songs and your inspiration. Thank you so much. I'm kind of lost for words. We share a lot of good times and bad times, but we'll always be until the good Lord take his bread from us. We tried our best. We did what we had to do. I saw it through without exemption. To think we did all that. And may I say that in a most good way. We did it all. Thank you very much, Mr. Aston. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Mr. Aston. Love you, sir.